Okay, you got to rotate to the ball. So Mike Conley is guarding the ball. This ball gets thrown into the post right now. If you're Mike Conley, you immediately drop anyways, back to the baseline. So now as this player comes through, you're just you're fine. You're going right with him. But Mike Conley is not rotating to the ball. He's staying beyond the three-point line. Now he gets beat back door. You have to have backside help on Joel Embiid. Okay, get up and push this guard to the sideline. Now I can have backside help. If a skip pass is made, I can recover. But look, you cannot just give... Look at look where Joel Embiid's catching this one. And two, look at how much space he has. That is a recipe for disaster. The Jazz just don't get it. You have to have backside help on Embiid. So how do you do that? You push James Harden out of the lane, okay, by hedging. Now, here's your backside help, because this player can guard these Sixers players two passes away because we've pushed James Harden here. But, I mean, what what is going on? What am I looking at? Okay, if you are doubling the post right here, okay, this player has to sink down. You can't. You cannot wait. Like, you, you're already late. On that entry pass, you needed to sink down. Okay? Duh. And then this player's got to get out here. Because if a skip pass is made, you're rotating here. You're rotating here. Mike Conley rotates up. But, you know, you don't even get the first rotation right. This is a terrible switch. If you're switching, it's got to be at the point of the screen, and you got to get underneath the screener. Uh, 0 for 2. What is Nikhil Alexander Walker doing? Walker Kessler does a great job of getting him beat out. Look at how far out he's catching this ball. A double team is not necessary out here. I mean, what are you doing? If you are running drop coverage on a pick and pop right here, stop. Okay, you got to rotate, okay? So this player on this pass needs to rotate up. Now, as this pass is getting made here, Nikhil Alexander Walker is going to have to rotate here. It's an X out that you have to do this. I mean, or you're just giving up practice threes. Cannot wait on these rotations. Okay, so you're doubling uh, Shake Milton right here. Okay, so as this pass gets made, I mean, literally as it's getting made, you know this player's rotating up. So Jordan Clarkson has to come here. Literally as this pass is getting made. It can't wait. It's waiting. Okay, so Jordan Clarkson comes to double-team Joel Embiid right here, okay? Now, this player here is going to just make a phenomenal rotation right here. Like, that's great, okay? But it passes out. So if you're Jordan Clarkson, you got to get back. And if you're Walker Kessler, you do not need to drop so far. Right here, you're probably fine right about here. So now when this player comes this way, I can stunt, I can easily recover because I'm not moving my feet. Jordan, But Jordan Clarkson doing God knows what, and Walker Kessler's just unnecessarily dropping into the paint like you this player's got to close out much harder i mean you gotta you gotta sprint to close out here okay because look at this look at this jogging to get out stop so if you had sprinted now you're here and you're ready to guard right now but instead you're down here so now as this player has the ball you got to step up which means that again you're playing off your front foot while this player's going downhill and that doesn't work. Okay, you got to close these gaps off right here. This player's got to get further in. Uh, his left foot needs to be parallel to the block, right foot out wide stance. So now when Milton comes this way, we're closing this gap off. You're seeing a second defender. I can stunt. I don't have to move my feet. I can stunt. I can recover. But Shake Milton's got to see a second defender here on this drive. Look at this right here. I mean... Th this is too easy. This is too much of a gap. You're not. You're not for far in enough. I mean, this is a terrible switch with James Harden. I mean, come, you got to switch perfectly again. Level to the screener, underneath the screener. You cannot be sagging below the screener, switching onto James Harden. When you are prepared, when you have attention to detail. When you communicate, this doesn't happen. This is James Harden. You have to be perfect in how you defend this screen, obviously. Okay, so there's no communication here, none. Because if there was, I mean, this is this player's switching right here. So this player has to switch too. I mean, you just can't have these breakdowns. 
Okay, so Mike Conley's going to come double team, all right? First of all, like, if Mike Conley's coming to double, you got to be prepared, okay? You have to be prepared. So if Mike Conley's coming to double team, why the heck am I shading James Harden this way? This way. So he comes into this double team. I mean, what, what are you... There's no point in doubling if you let him go away from it. And now Jordan Clarkson doubles too late. When there is this much space to go over a screen, especially with James Harden, you can't go under because you're just going too... Look at how far under you are. That's how you defend James Harden? Okay, it is a two-point game with two and a half minutes left. What is Jordan Clarkson doing? This is way too important of a possession for you to try and sell out for a charge. Because if you don't get it, you're screwed. Right? Again, so Walker Kessler needs to be coming this way. Okay? You get to the nearest body. Jordan Clarkson's got to take and beat. You got to come here and you got to sprint there. Okay? That doesn't happen. He's going down the middle. So that's mistake number one. I mean, this whole thing's a disaster. Jordan Clarkson, right now, like, as when Joel Embiid comes this way, instead of selling out for a charge, battle for real estate. Initiate contact, okay? Make life tough on Joel Embiid. Instead, I mean, cool, you didn't get it. And now Shake Milton is wide open. This is totally mind-boggling. There is 32 seconds left in the game and you're up one. The biggest possession of the game. And this is the defense you come up with. Okay, so... You have to get James Harden out of the lane. You don't just give James Harden the lane, okay? He's too good, obviously. Get up and hedge and push him out. The 76er spacing is atrocious because there's no place for Joel Embiid to roll to. How is this the defense you drew up? What? What? Okay, so the Jazz get the lead back. They're up one with 10 seconds left. How, how is this... The defense you came up with. You need backside help on Joel Embiid. So let's push James Harden to the sidelines so we can get that backside help. This Jazz player can guard these 76ers players be because both of them, because James Harden's at the sideline. Okay? How is your defense to leave jo Joel Embiid open? What is this like? What?